Hi, Will from Music Tech here at Superbooth in Berlin with Piotr on the Polyen booth, and we're looking at, what are we looking at, Piotr? Well, we're looking at us. We're looking at each other. Yeah, yeah. we are at our double-sided booth, uh -huh. and on that side, we have some new modules, mm -hmm. including the preset. What is the preset, exactly? S some say it's a game-changer for the Eurac realm. Okay. I, 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 I believe so. Okay. I believe them. Why, why is that? Because it's, this is the module that you really want to play. It's very playable. It recalls nine sets of values within the touch of my finger. And you have... So that's like a snapshot of all of the different parameters from exactly. your other gears. And it? so you can ask what are the parameters. So different things that people f using Eurorax, including me, need. So first of all, I need the constant value so this is zero voltage, this is five volts, and this is 10 volts, right? So whenever I'm in this preset, number eight output will send the voltage I've just set. Another mm -hmm. thing cool about... So, I mean, the application of that would be what, exactly? Well, you can, for example, I, I've hooked it up to the plots, and with my... Uh, let's put some trigger to it. Can we hear that a little bit? So now for I will just I will just leave it to the f to this one, right? With my values, I'm changing the models. Right? So this preset has the value of this model. This one has different value for the model. So within one click, I've just changed the parameter and I can do for all my nine modules. Then I can also automate it. So let's hit record, click this one, and let's start automating my values. I can do it also like this. So now you see it changes the brightness upon the value and it changes my model right now. So you can you can sequence these things with a remarkable degree of accuracy. Then that is true. In a way yeah, you couldn't before. Exactly. But for the sequences, we have something something more. I would like to show you in a bit. What it's also needed and useful for Eurorack is the notes or quantized uh, voltages. So uh -huh. the, if the color is cyan, now I am changing my notes. Maybe let's also hear it. Yeah. I'll clear my automation to make it... I can also hold it and play it like a keyboard. But then I can also record it, so... Right? Uh, what are the divisions then? What are the time divisions that are available there? So this has the internal internal clock inside, mm. and it uh, records everything. Each, each what was it? It's ten hertz. Ten hertz. So it's ten. So sampling ten times a second. Ten yeah. times a second, exactly. Yeah. Okay. But then it's if it's not smooth enough, you can click uh, the option to smooth it out, so the output is very very right. smooth. Right. Okay. Um, Yes, and then we also have the green color, which is the gate. And yeah. it, when I pr when, sorry, when oh. I press the, when I press the, uh, the my, my pad, it it opens and closes the gate. Uh, as long as I'm holding it, it opens the gate and closes when I release. Okay. So let's maybe hear it in a better musical example to see yeah, to see what's what's what. Right, so once again I have three plots identically set. My top row is changing the models. Then, in this case, this one is hooked up to the, uh, uh, to the notes. And the bottom part is some randomness. So let's see.
very nice for live performances. And I have my hands free so I can... If I want to go more experimental, I can hook up gate or clock to my mm -hmm. CV in. We have one CV in. I'll just set this one up. So you have two options, CV mm -hmm. or gate. Okay. So the gate option looks for the gate, listens for the gate. So whenever, uh, whenever gate is being fed to the input, it will advance in my presets. So you could do your sequences and with a touch of a button you can reset the position of it. So let's hear it. Now I will show you the CV option. So I'll hook it up to rise and fall. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then it can be a little bit more crazy. So this is if you want to break everybody's brains, right? Pardon? This is if you want to break everybody's brains. That's the that, setting you that use. That was exactly the idea, yeah. yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you've got 32 of those, uh, of those. This is the bank, so bank of presets, 32 of presets in one bank, uh -huh. times 32 banks. Wow times nine outputs, it means that you have almost 10,000 values you can record, uh, recall immediately, so it's very, very hands-on unit. And uh, the recording time for your automation is 30 seconds per each, per each knob, so tons of tons of functionality on that one. So an amazing performance control then. That is, but yeah. also thanks to the scales that I didn't talk about, so if I hit bank, the system will know which knob is responsible for the notes. So those are the, the, the note knobs. Now they've changed to dark blue, so I can change the scales. You have 32 scales here. Wow. We'll try to also give you some indications with these icons to give you uh, the knowledge what scales you're into, so you're not at least the indication like D minor or D major. Uh, we are doing the upgrade for that. Uh -huh. But we have still plenty of time because we started manufacturing it mm -hmm. and it takes two more months to manufacture it. Okay. So we have two months more uh, two, two months more to just update the software for that. So it's coming in July then? It is, or I would say the end of July. And how much will it cost? It's going to be $3.99, again in okay. dollars, in euros. Fantastic. Piotr, thank you very much. My pleasure. Cheers.